Hope everyone's doing well out there today. I'm going to do the Westboro Home Sales Statistic Analysis on YouTube, and uh, we're going to check that out and see if that flies. Um, but uh, the Westboro report, very similar to a lot of the other towns I track here on the blog. Um, they all do tend to follow each other. Westboro is pretty typical. The inventory jumped up uh, with seasonal spring to some of the highest levels we've seen in a couple of years. Uh, right now they have 106 homes. That's up by over 30 homes since the last report. Um, but the sales have jumped almost as much. So the sales over the last six months went from 57 to 80. Not quite 30, but it's still it's a big jump. Um, and if you look, really there's been 58 homes sold in the last three months, which is more than the 57 homes sold in six months in the last report. That shows you that the buyers are very active in Westboro that they're looking for properties that make sense, that are at the right price, and when they see them, they're not waiting around, they're just buying them. That's backed up by looking at the average market time, which has gone from 180 days, which is pretty sluggish, all the way down to 111. Uh, that tells me that there's probably quite a few properties that sold as soon as they hit the market. Some of them may have ended up in bidding situations that wouldn't be atypical when you start to see average market time down there around 110 days. Um, the average market time for the active homes is just at 122 days, that tells you that uh, over half the sellers have been out on the market for less than four months. So they're probably not at the point now where they're getting impatient, but it'll be interesting to see what kind of price changes happen as we get through July and August. Then they'll be closer to 180 days. That's usually when we start to see some price adjustments from sellers who are motivated enough that they're going to sell. Um, the average sold price didn't move very much, but the lender impacted inventory, both the foreclosures and the um, uh, the short sales was uh, was cut in half, show, so that shows you that um, the buyers out there in Westboro are committed to the town enough where they're willing to take on lenders and deal with inventory that is either troubled um, or they that uh, short sale will be required, and that means that they're probably getting a little bit of a deal, not as much as they probably should, but uh, but they're willing to wait around for the right property in Westboro, and that's the report. Details are below. Thanks. Bye.